I often get asked, you know, uh, what size paper do you need to start with? And when it's a square, it's pretty simple, but sometimes you actually have to fold models from other shapes. Um, it could be um, a triangle, it could be a hexagon, uh, it could be an octagon. And you know what? I'm not going to talk about any of these. Not squares, well, maybe a little, but especially not these kind of regular polygons with more than four points, or less, actually, for the triangle. Um, this video is actually going to explain to you how to um, decide what sizes you need when you have to fold from a rectangle. So this is the one we're going to talk about. So one common mistake I see is, you know, in a video I might say, start with um, a sheet of paper that is uh, three inches um, wide and six inches long. And then someone would say, oh, I want to use a slightly larger sheet of paper. So I'm going to kind of add on one inch to each side and that's going to work fine. But uh, actually, no, that's not the case because uh, three inches um, by uh, six inches is a totally different shape to four inches by seven inches. Um, and this video will explain how to do it correctly because that's not what we want to be doing. But before that, um, let's take a step back. So most importantly, you need to realize, yes, you can use different sizes um, of paper. So, for example, if you were folding a crane, because we all know the crane, right? You could fold it from a smaller square and you could fold it from a larger square. Um, notice how I said you can fold it from a square, which is small, or a square, which is large. That's the key. You are using exactly the same shape. Now, what is that shape? Well, it's a square, so it has four points. Yep, true for both of these. Um, it has four right angles. Yep, true for both of these. We're pretty good already. We've kind of uh, already decided we're using two rectangles. Um, and now comes the important part which defines the shape of the rectangle and that's that this length is exactly the same as this length as this length as this length. For example, let's say this was 3 inch by 3 inch by 3 inch by 3 inch. And this is um, perhaps 6 inch by 6 inch by 6 inch or and 6 inch. Or if you want, you could say this is 7.5 centimeter on each side and this is 15 centimeter on each side. So, uh, because, you know, it's a bit annoying to always write um, this four uh, times and all of the values are the same. For a square, you might just say this is a 15 centimeter square or this is a six inch square. Um, by that saying that it's a square that um, on each side has that length. The side length is six inches or the side length is 15 centimeter. This is what I very often say in my videos and that's what I mean by it. Now for a rectangle, um, that's actually not going to be the case anymore. So let's change this up a little. Suppose we have this rectangle here. Uh, let's make it about two squares, just um, uh, so that it's a little easier. Um, now uh, we still have four points. And we still have four right, uh, four right angles, which makes it a rectangle. Right? So that's important. We need to stay with that. But now we have side length which actually aren't all equal. Um, this is perhaps um, 6 inch and this is 3 inch. Then that side obviously will be 6 inch again and that will be 3 inches again. Um, the fun thing about rectangles, which makes it a lot easier to work with them, is that these two sides will always be the same length and these sides will also always be the same length. So again, because we're lazy, we're just going to uh, talk about two lengths. Um, we'll call this the length of the paper and perhaps this the width of the paper.
Now, um, the shape is defined by these lengths, just like with a square it was defined by the lengths too. And um, here it's important that they kind of fit together. To get the same shape of rectangle, you could also use a larger rectangle. You could, for example, have um, six inches here. But um, because, can you see that we have two squares here? We want to reach two squares again. So what we actually have to do is, uh, that would be one square, right? Uh, we have to add that second square to it. In other words, you know, if uh, this side is six inches, then we need to have six inches once and twice to get that shape of two squares next to each other. Um, in other words, um, or more generally, if this um, is one unit um, in length, then here you'll need two units in length to get um, that kind of shape. Now, um, one way of writing that in shorthand is to say that we want a rectangle which has a ratio of 1 by 2, written by like 1 colon 2, um, because this is 1 unit by 2 units. Um, and now you can start exchanging the units. So, for example, you could say one unit is 15 centimeters. So, two units needs to be twice that much, two times 15 centimeters, which is 30 centimeters. Okay, so um, I hope you get the idea. So, let's look at this um, in a little more detail in the table. So we were saying we have the uh, width of the paper, we have the length of the paper, we were talking about one unit, um, and then now let's have a look at that. And you know, we're going to do some magic here. So uh, we had uh, 15 centimeters width, um, one unit was 15 centimeters, and the length then was 30 centimeters because we wanted to um, have a rectangle of 1 by 2. Okay? So um, if we were using um, 6 inches, which is about 15 centimeters, then we could say one unit is 6 inches and the length is going to be. 2 times 6 inches, which is 12 inches, of course. Um, but we could use something different. So, you know, we could uh, use 1 foot, and then that would be 2 feet, and 1 unit would be two foot, 1 foot. But um, now we're kind of always starting with... Um, the width, right? We're saying it's this wide, so we go to the length. And we do that kind of by multiplying by 2 times 2. Um, what if we said, huh, what are we going to do if, say, we wanted a, um, well, we've got it here, but still, let's look at it, a 12-inch length. Um, to get back there, you know, we need to find out what did we do um, to get to that value. We multiplied by 2. And kind of the other direction of multiplying is dividing, right? So we divide by 2. 12 divided by 2 is 6 inches. And sure enough, you know, that's what we had. So let's use this on something different. Uh, 20 centimeters leads to 10 centimeters. Um, and here we're actually calculating one unit. 10 centimeters. Um, I'm adding this column right here because it's going to matter in a little bit. So, um, to kind of make this a bit cleaner, let's look at this again. We've got the width, we've got the length, And if we have a ratio of 1 by 3, 
then what do we have to do um, to get to um, to the size we want? You know, now remember we want a shape that basically looks like three squares next to each other. The width is one, and the length is three. So every time we multiply by three to get to the length, or we divide by three to get to the width. So, for example, we might have um, a 15 centimeter length leads to a 5 centimeter width, or we might have 1 inch with a length of 3 inch. Now, how about uh, we make this a little more um, complicated and more general? So, what if um, the width wasn't exactly one unit. You know, um, here we always had a one, but let's not use a one, let's use a two. Um, and maybe as a length we use three. So now we actually want a rectangle. You know, you'd have two squares here, and then you'd have three squares here, and then you'd have a two by three rectangle if you remove all of those inside lines. Makes sense, right? So, um, yeah, it's a little trickier, but here is where it comes in that I was talking about one unit. Yeah? So, um, when we were going from the length to the width, we divided by three to get to one unit. Three divided by three is one unit, right? So now if we divide by three, then we get to one unit. And if we have one unit, um, to get to two units, we need to multiply by two. Just like if we will have two units, we need to divide by two to get to one unit. And then we have to multiply by three to get to three units. So how does that work? Well, let's say you have a two inch width. You divide by two to get one unit, so that would be one inch, and then you multiply by three, that's three inch, to get the length. So a rectangle with uh, two inches by three inches has the right shape. Cool, that's great. But of course there could be um, something different, so we could have ten, inch, uh, ten centimeters divided by two gives us one unit of five centimeters, and uh, a length of 15 centimeters because 5 times 3 is 15. Now the same goes with you know the other way around. Um, here we were using this direction, right? And now let's use the other direction. So for example, let's say we have a 21 centimeter length, then we divide by 3 to get uh, one unit of one um, of seven centimeters, and then you multiply by two to get 14 centimeters width. Or you could, of course, use, uh, let's see, I'm running out of space here. You could have a six inch length divided by three makes um, two inches, multiplied by two makes four inches. So, a rectangle with four inches by uh, six inches also has the correct shape. So the important rule here is always these um, multiplications and divisions. And the, the way to uh, remember this is you have units on each side and you want to get to one unit. So to get from three to one, you need to divide by uh, three, and to get from one to two, you need to multiply by two. Just like um, if you have a two, and you want to get to one unit, you divide by two, and that's one unit. And if you want to get two, three, then you need to multiply by three. So it just depends in which direction you're going whether you need to divide or multiply.
and then you can be sure that you will always have the right sized paper. So, summing up, if you um, have uh, a model that you have to fold from a rectangle, then always use the following uh, calculation rules. If you have um, a ratio of A by B, you know, I'm kind of putting it very general now, um, A could be any number and B could be any number, then to get from the width to the length, you will first divide by A to get to one unit and then multiply by B to get the length. Just like if you're um, starting with the length, you're going to divide by B to get one unit and then multiply by A to get uh, the width. So that um, knowing one of the values gives you the other value, um, or, you know, knowing this value gives you that value. Um, and then you can start folding, and if you feel like uh, you know, um, I'm not sure whether that was the right size, maybe it was too large or too small, then just um, change the one unit and then you can, you know, going from the center, uh, multiply by A and uh, multiply by B uh, to get the width and the length that you want to work with. So you can start with the width and then figure out what one unit is and then the length. You can start with the length, figure out what one unit is and then figure out the width. Or you can start with a unit and then figure out what both width and length are supposed to be. Just by dividing and multiplying, by dividing and multiplying or by multiplying the one unit. Um, and then um, that works out fine. By the way, I did want to mention that uh, sometimes I kind of say, uh, you know, this is uh, the paper size, and then that's the model size. So I might say uh, 15 centimeter by 30 centimeter, and then I might say it has a length of seven centimeter and a height of uh, five centimeter. So, suppose you don't really care about paper size, but you do care about uh, what size the model has. So, let's say you wanted to not have it um, be 7 centimeters, but be 10 centimeters, right? So, now it's not quite um, as a round value anymore, but uh, I think it's probably good using something that's not quite as obvious anymore. So, what you first need to know is um, how to get from 7 centimeters to 10 centimeters. See how we were always kind of multiplying and dividing? So it's not okay to say, ah, I added 3 centimeters. No, let's not go there. Instead, we need to know what we had to multiply by to get 10 centimeters from 7 centimeters. So um, that's actually always going to be 10 centimeters divided by 7 centimeters. Because now if you multiply that with 7, uh, by the magic of mathematics, you can cut those and you get 10 centimeters. So, um, so once you've got that figured out, 10 centimeters divided by 7 centimeters, you can use that value and simply multiply it with each of e these two values. So then the, the paper you'd have to use to get a model size of here 10 centimeters would be uh, 15 times 10 divided by 7 centimeters and you know you can use a calculator for that um, and then the length would be 30 times 10 divided by 7 centimeters and the model size what did we have here 5 initially so that would be 10 by 
um, multiplied by 5 um, divided through 7 centimeters, because the ratios will always stay the same. So, summing up, if you have um, a paper size ratio of A by B, you know, figure out what one unit is, and then you can figure out the width and the length. If you have a model size and a paper size, then you use um, the uh, want, wanted model size divided by the uh, suggested model size and you multiply that by the width and the length to get uh, the wanted um, width and the wanted length. Okay? So now cut your rectangles and get folding. See you around. Bye bye.